warm round of applause. So how many of you like Halloween? It's really fun, isn't it? You get to dress up and you get to be someone else. You know, for one day you can be someone, you know, someone more interesting, some scary, some more attractive. You know, it's really fun. For one day you get to get out of the world. Um, Amazon Holding 2011 reported $346 million in sales in, in the five-week Halloween season. It's a lot of money that people are spending just to dress up. Which is why a new subculture is actually emerging based from Japan called cosplay. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you first what cosplay is, second the processes, processes to choosing a costume, and third, why do people do this? So, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering what it is. I'm sure you've never heard of it. Cosplay, um, Stuart H. Of, of the Age in 2007 says, Cosplay is, uh, is centered on dressing up as characters from anime, Japanese cartoons, manga, Japanese comics, and video games, and it's a contraction on the words costume and play. Uh, it's a subculture that's that comes from Japan, but it, as time goes on, it's actually spreading to all different uh, countries all over the world. Um, uh, what most people, uh, when they cosplay, they normally do it at conventions, normally at anime conventions, video game conventions. Examples are Anime Expo, BlizzCon, Comic Con. And in America, there's a huge difference between Japanese and American cosplaying. In America, uh, normally people dress up and they just go through the convention throughout the whole day and people will take photos very randomly. If you see someone you want that you has a costume that you like, you just take a picture of them and then continue on. In Japan though, it's much more strict and organized. They have events for cosplay. And if you if you dress up, you dress up for that event. And after the event, you take it off and you wear normal clothes throughout the day. Uh, initially, you of the ornament, 2007, gives a much better explanation. Uh, in Japan, cosplay events are much more strictly organized, and costumes are only worn during the events. In America, it's very chaotic. Photos are taken by convention attendees as they go throughout the day, and costumes aren't taken off until the very end of the day. So now that you have a uh, bit more understanding of what cosplay is, I, let me move on to um, steps of choosing a costume. So first you have to pick a costume. So who are you going to be? Not everyone can dress up as another person. I can never dress up as Sailor Moon. That's just never going to work, as much as some people actually do. So for the things you have to look for are, do we look like the person? Do you have some kind of similar personality. Maybe you like their uh, beliefs or the way they act and you want to be that person. And, and then after you, choose a, after you choose a character that you want to be, you have to decide, are you going to buy the costume or are you going to make it? You can't make every costume. And you also, I mean, you can't make it, you can't buy every costume. Uh, if I want to dress up as a Transformer, I can't really do that. I have to make that costume from scratch. See, these people, they have to make their costume. They, you can't buy this at any store unless maybe a uh, movie set. So after you choose what you're going to dress up as, you're thinking, how accurate am I going to make this costume? Are you going to make it look exactly the same? It's Cosplay is a form of art, so you can, you know, you use your creative expression to try to um, make this character. It never has to be the exact same. Um, if you want to buy a costume, it's much easier to do that. Let's say you have a month until your event. You can just say, I'm going to just buy this costume, in two weeks it'll arrive. It's much it's quick, it's easy, and most of the time you get a high quality costume. Uh, prices for the costume range from about $50 to about $300. It just all depends on the quality that you want to have your costume. So now that you know, you know the process of 
to choosing a costume, why would people do this? Why would you spend $300 on a costume you're going to wear maybe once or twice out of the entire year? Well, it brings fiction to life. You get to see that, that character come to life, and you actually get to see them walk around, and you might even get to talk to them. Um, and it's also a creative expression. You don't have to take that person and make them look exactly the same. Here's a, a, it's a flying bison from the show Avatar. You, I can't look exactly the same as this character. So how would I dress up as that? Or how would someone else? Well, someone at a convention that I went to actually was able to do that. She made, she's very short, and she just made almost a mascot type costume and was able to successfully do that costume. You know, that is creative expression. You don't have to make things the same way. It's an, it's an art form. You don't, you take, instead of a canvas, you use your body uh, as the centerpiece. Also, it's a great performance. When you, when you dress up as that character, you become that character for that day. You, people don't address you as Matt or Steven or Louise. They address you as whatever that character's name is, if they know it. And you also get a sense of popularity. When you dress up as, and you have a really great costume, a lot of people you know, focus on you. I've seen many people who, when they're getting, getting so, so many pictures taken of them, they can't move. They have to stay right there. I mean, it could take another hour or two until they get to whatever they, event that they want to go to. Also, there's lots of contests out there. There's, you can do a local contest or an international contest. The, the largest contest in the world is the World Cosplay Summit in Nagoya, Japan where hundreds of people attend. Um, this is one of the international cosplay winners that, um, that won. She only spent $350 on her costume. I could not turn $350 and make it into that. <laughs> so you have to know how to make these costumes in order to produce them. So today I've talked to you about what cosplay is and introduced that it's a Japanese subculture based on dressing up as characters. Two, how to choose a costume where you have to either look like the character or have some kind of connection with that person. And three, why do, why do people do this? In order to express you know, their creativity and maybe even win contests and win money. Uh, you, you, I've now taught you a way that Instead of drawing or painting, you can now use this as a new form of creative expression. You don't have to just draw or whatever. You can just you can make a costume and you can actually become that character for a day. Um, and I just have uh, some pictures. <coughs> this is a uh, Big Daddy from Bioshock. Uh, I asked the person how long it took him to make it. it. Took two years of just random sorting. Character, uh, some more characters. Assassin's Creed uh, gathering. Lots of people with similar costumes will gather together. The Cookie Monster. And that is all.